vlog is so out of genre. Blame Casey Neistat, blame the famous vloggers. They took it all away and left with us small YouTubers who want to vlog but never get exposed. Come on, give us a chance. Give us a chance, man. Hey, what's up you guys? Ah, my name is Ryan. Uh, it's a sunny day out in the... My house, actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's unusual for me to do kind of like a vlog style like this again. Today, I want to talk about 10 things that I wish I knew when I was 20 years old. First thing I wish I knew is that credit cards and <laughs> use them wisely. Oh my gosh, dude. To this day, I only have two credit cards and I only use them when I really need to. The problem is that um, my family, they need it for help. So I'm kind of like most of them on their debt and the rest is like on me. So I have to pay it back. But I've been doing paying it back, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay. But the wish I knew is that don't use it so much when you're in college because you never know that debt and credit score is gonna bite you in the butt like three times. Second thing I wish I knew when I was 20 is that don't go to community college. In my experiences, um, you guys can go to any college you want, really it doesn't matter as long as you get the degree, as long as you get all the things that you wanna do. But for me, the wish that I knew when I was 20, I shouldn't go to community college. It was a waste of money and a waste of time. Regardless that, sure, I could have just stayed for community college for one semester and then transferred to university. It, but I, ha I was kind of like, get more credits and transfer. But the thing is, like, I should have just, you know what? I should have just go to university itself and then get, get the experience earlier than before. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little bit dilemma and I regretted it every single bit but I don't regret going to the university since I graduated at Kane as a graphic designer like four or five years ago it's, it was all right I mean I had a good time third thing that I wish I knew when I was 20 is that friends will become your enemies and when I thought about having friends uh, not just high school, but like in community college and college, and not just even college, the ones of, I guess, Indonesian friends that I used to had. Uh, back then, I had oh, one of the greatest times I ever had. <clears throat> a lot of funny moments, a lot of, I guess, drama. Uh, I got involved with so much drama back then, and it took a toll out of me. Half of it was my fault, but the other half was like, if you're not cool enough to wear this, uh, you're not part of the, you know, the cool zone of friends back then and I was just like, I was the type of person of being the per being the guy who just, I don't really need much, like, you know, if, if I want to hang out, sure, and if I want to buy something, you know, I like to wear, like, simple clothes now, but uh, nowadays, now that I'm 28, turning 29, I'm turning 29 next week, uh, nine years ago, what I learned is that people that I, that I knew they were my friends, they were not it, what it seems because it's just, that's life and you have to move on from it. When I transferred to university, I don't really talk to them anymore, not as much. And even when I was, the, you know, friends with people in the university, I just use it as a acquaintances because I know that I have to be careful. In the end, some friends, they will never talk to you again. Some people, they will follow you till the very end and give you quality shouts through social media. And nowadays with social media, they can always either stalk you or lurk around you and they won't say anything, but they know that if you do something great or even bad, they'll talk about it behind your back and, and it boosts their ego, which sucks. But you know what? That's how we have to live in that in this simulation world that we live in, which I wish we wouldn't. I wish I wouldn't. So now the fourth thing that I wish I knew when I was twenty is that relationships, dating, oh, it was horrible. I'm one of those people where I feel like I got the bad end of relationship. Not not just like 
not just relationship, just dating wise when I was 20. I like this I used to like this girl when uh, when I was 20 and this was my transition transition between um, community college and towards uh, university at the time. I feel like during that time I liked two girls. Uh, one of them was from high school. The other one was from he was Indonesian as well. like people know know her from the church or something like that and then they get to know you know something like that. I think it was more of a crush than, than a liking someone you know Now first story for the uh, the first girl uh, I knew her since our senior year in high school. We graduated we had a good time I met her friends and the reason why I uh, we kind of like know each other and get to know better is because I kid you not I played Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> uh, Heart of the Cards oh yeah shortly enough I we had a, like a better hangout then we had a, we went to all our graduation parties not mine I mean mine was a little bit small-ish whatever but I was hanging out with her friends uh, and knowing about uh, my friends as well kind of and the starting of uh, my first semester of my community college we 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 were actually pretty cool and i remember she used to work at a um, apple tree farm and she used to give me apples and it was nice it was cool we um it was more like we were more than kind of like a goofy friends confused within ourselves i was confused i didn't even know that if she did like me or not but in the end we she just wanted to be as friends and i was just kind of like shocked because the signs were there, but I was too oblivious to not know what are the the hidden signs or just like, just like don't like me or whatever. In the end, karma got me out, you know, after second semester of the community college, I, we just don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. Oh, we don't talk anymore. Literally. And we just never just associate and not only that she was talking to another guy years later this was this like months months later this was when i was in my 20. i kid you not uh my former best friend who i used to talk to during high school he dated her and now they're probably married at this point and have kids and i'm just like wow the betrayal was real and i was hurt and i was really really hurt so much and at the time when I was still liking this other person, which ended up really bad, uh, I will get. In, I will make another video topic about relationships and whatever. I was emotionally drained, emotionally drained to the point that I was depressed. And I will give you now with number five. And number five, which is, I shouldn't be depressed because of a lot of stupidity. I was initially was super depressed because everybody was in a relationship everyone is like oh dating you know getting to know whatever and it was hard for me to adjust to know that my mindset it was tough for me because some people they would just see me it's like oh he's so beta oh he's so beta or whatever i was like i i to be honest i just didn't give a damn i didn't care i was want to focus on school and i just want to have fun well you know uh, talking talking to girls who are just I thought they were just genuine but sadly I always pick the wrong genuine girls and it sucks so because of that it triggered my depression over time and then stress in college and then Asian family which is when I mean Asian family my mom always like pouncing and hounding on my back kind of like try kind of you know how Asian parents are and I, I just felt like I couldn't, I just felt like over, overstressed to the point I, I, I was not myself for a while. Number six, yeah, don't scratch my face. Oh yeah, when I, I had, when my body, when I was young, my mom told me that I used to scratch my face a lot. And to this day, I literally regret of scratching my face now it's now it may seem silly to you but i have my body have this kind of like an adhd or uh, of a thing like an impulsive thing where when i sleep i don't even realize that i scrap scratch my face either i it's usually when i had a nightmare or when i'm really stressed or when i'm just everything just tumbling down and i all of a sudden i just have this like urge to just scratch my face or anything that's like i need to like like 
to scratch on like something that to get rid of my stress. So luckily I used to have a stress ball, but now it's gone. I don't really use it anymore. I'm just nowadays when I get stressed, I just meditate. I just take a nap or just walk outside, maybe screaming or maybe look up at the sky or something like that. I don't know. But either way, uh, I shouldn't just, I regret of scratching my face and not uh, stopping it. Because when I was college, dealed with stress and everything else, even exams, oh man, I was just, oh, devastated. And design projects as well. Well, with number seven, I should got rid of my shyness. Now, when I was a kid towards um, teenager years, I literally was the shy type, the shy guy, you know what I mean? Uh, not, uh, well, technically yes, the Mario character that you know of, the shy guy. I was the type of person who just, you know, quiet, not really timid, it's just I don't have much things to say, but, but people realized later on that during after my tw after when I was 20 years old and towards 21 and beyond that I'm actually a loud mob person I'm very talkative because of my zodiac Gemini of course if you ever believe in that but I'm also the type of person who just like uh, I can't I will not back down unless you prove me wrong that type of person so uh, I should not be more of a shy kind person because I'm the type of person who just like I think a lot and when I want to speak and when I try to speak I say something the wrong terms at the wrong meaningful in the wrong sense and it just caught me off guard and then it just bite me back twice as hard so I should when I was 20 during that time I should not be shy at that point and I should have just overcome my shyness Number eight, it seems a little bit like even me at this point, number eight, I feel like I've improved. To, uh, and this is the most important thing of, of my life is that do not, uh, don't be lazy. I was the laziest guy ever when I was 20. Even in college, during the uh, dorm days, I was so lazy. I just didn't want to do anything. If I have to go to school, sure. If I go to classes, sure. But man, I was lazy. I was always tired. I was always like, not exhausted, but my mentally exhausted almost every day when I go to when I go to classes and I'm just like, I just want to chill. And regardless that like, I will like all the activities that I want to do, like finding new people, finding new friends and such, my mind was so mentally exhausted. So I wish I could improve that when I was 20 to, you know, mind mindset of not being exhausted and always be ready, always have a sharp mind. And which I don't really have that when I was 20. And now I'm getting much better now. I mean, nine years later, I've, I've gotten better and learning much more than I was uh, nine years ago. Number nine, I would say I should have read book to improve myself. I kid you not, I didn't really like to read books until recently after college. I started reading books. I started doing about my self values. Started reading about, you know, about my religion, which I am Catholic, by the way. And really uh, reading about all of these, like, social media and how to use social media. I've read a lot of books and stories over my time during, during um, after college. But when I was 20, I just didn't want to read a book, which I should have. I should have read a book to improve myself, to improve my clarity, improve my values. And it was now it's now that I have better position with my values. I seem to feel like, you know, I get understanding with much, much other people's point of views and what could have done this, what could have done me better, something like that. And then the final, final thing that I should have done when I was 20 is to love myself. I did not love myself at all. And it seems weird and people will seem like, oh, that's that's so, you know, trash or whatever. It's a saying to you, love yourself. Ha. Huh. At the time, nine years ago, when you say that, uh, people were just laughing and joking around. And, and I was just like, wow, that put me down so much. And when I'm now nine years later, to know that that I that I can able to love myself as a person and knowing my values, then then I can appreciate more so about life. And when I was 20, I was kind of like this, just go gunning and running, you know, the, not just hustling, but it's just like you go out there, be not knowing what's on, 
what's out there in the future towards myself. When you're in 20 and then as, as you grow older, you feel like you're going 20, like you're going so fast and then you go all this life and everything else. But then when you reach towards 30, which I'm about to be in about two years from now, it's gonna, oh man, it's gonna be a different life experience again. So I'm about to, like I said, I'm, I'm turning 29 in, in uh, next week and pretty sure it's gonna be uh, my, my last year of being in the 20s. And by the time I hit 30, I'll be like, no, my 20s, no, it's over. You know, so when I'm 29, I'm gonna do all of these things that I want to do and I just don't care. So <laughs> I think that's it for me of 10 things of I wished I knew when I was 20. And hopefully I can be better about myself when I'm going to be 29 on my birthday and hoping that I just give a lot more patience about myself and hope you guys enjoy until you guys see you next time on my video till then peace out bye bye